Okay, there is a feature that just kind of arrived recently in Python. I believe it's only in version 3.10 and onwards 3.10. Um, and it's called case. It's already in other programming languages, but it was never in Python until just recently. And it works very much the same as the uh, if, else if, if elif idea. Um, but you write it kind of slightly differently. So I've got an example here. So what I've got at the top here is a variable that I've just called the user types in just, you know, to make it obvious that somebody, you know, types something in at this point, they're prompted to type something in, but you can obviously it's a variable, you can call it whatever you like. So user types in equals, I've made that into an integer so that Python knows that it's a number and not text and it, that, you know, that looks like a number. And then I've asked it to give me an input. So it will display on the screen, enter a number between one and five. This forward slash N just means a new line. So a new line break. And this is how you build the case. So you match everything that's in here with whatever key press comes next. So match user types in case one then we print this is option one. In case two, we print this is option two. Now, as examples go, printing number two and number three, you know, it's, it's not very useful, but just as an example, so you can see how this works. If you wanted to build a menu, or if you were given some code that you uh, had to kind of interpret and it had case, a match case, um, scenarios, then you'd be able to immediately recognize that this is a menu. And when you press one, this is how it can happen. And when you press three, this is going to happen and so on. So we run that. What we get on the bottom is this enter a number between one and five because it's printed. It's what we told it to. So let's try number three, press enter. This is option three. And that is it. It's as simple as that. It's just similar to if this else that and, that, and that's kind of how that works, really.